Hey guys, so today I have another huge, amazing Killstar haul to show you. Um, I only did one pretty recently, so I will put the link for that down in the description in case you want to check that out. Obviously after this video though, of course. Um, today I'm going to call this one the Hexmas Gift Guide because I feel like I've got a little bit of everything and all of these would make amazing Christmas presents. So if you've got someone who's more gothic, alternative in your life, like a friend, family member, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, a lot of these things would be amazing presents. Um, I will put all of Killstar's information down below as well and all of the links to the specific things that I got in case you want to check any of them out. So I'm going to start off with the biggest things as always. Um, I've got a range of stuff here. It's mainly homeware I would say but the last haul was a lot of clothing so if you want to see more of that side of things then that is over there. Um, and I have some very expensive things and then I have some very very cheap stocking filler things to show you as well. So the very first thing I got, if you saw my last haul, I got some joggers that were like a velvety material and they had um, imprints of cobwebs on them. And this time I decided to get the bedspread, which is the same as those joggers because I loved them so, so much. So this is called the webbed bedspread. And I'm not gonna lie, it is one of the more expensive items. Um, this is so much more amazing than I was ever expecting though. I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell on camera just how thick and plush this is but it's so so soft and fluffy. So that is the underside, the really thick furry side and then on the top which is the bit you would kind of show is this bit which is like I said the same as the joggers. So it's like a really, really soft, velvety, velour kind of material. And it just has these cobwebs imprinted all over it. It's so, so pretty. It's so subtle. It's like very bougie, I feel like. Very glam goth. Um, it's amazing. Like I said, so, so thick and plush. This is going to be amazing in winter because it's freezing in here. So literally after this video, I'm changing the bed and I'm putting this on it because I'm so excited. I am keeping this one. Absolutely love it. Way better quality than I was ever expecting. So that is the first one. If you want to get someone some nice snuggly winter bedding, then we have this bedspread. Then next I got some shoes or boots. So these are called the Callista boots. And these are very like witchy, I would say. They come all wrapped up like this. And this is what they look like. So like I said, a very witchy vibe with the pointy toe. Um, they're not as shiny as they are showing up on camera. They are more matte in person, I would say, but they are absolutely amazing. They've got these studs and buckles and spikes all the way around the front and sides and everything. They have a zip on this side so you can take them on and off easily. And they have this cute little pentacle like back bit as well, which is a very cute little detail. Um, these again, one of the more expensive items, but obviously it's a shoe, so it's going to be, I love these. I personally have very big legs. Um, my calves are huge, boots never fit me, and these are quite low, so they do still fit. So any of the larger girls out there, um, these should still fit you, hopefully. But yeah, um, I'm a size six, so that is what these six ones look like. So that is the Callista boot. So next we have an item which could either be a cute little gift or it could also be just for you because it's winter time and that is some cute little gloves or mittens. Um, so if you did see my last haul you will have seen I got a huge big fluffy scarf. I feel like these kind of go with that obviously just because they're black and that was black but also because these are really fuzzy as well. So these are like I said little mittens. They don't have fingers which is amazing if you're like like me and you have long nails. Usually either your nails poke through the end of gloves or they make your fingers look like 20 miles long. So these are perfect. They have these cute little moons at the top of each one. And I will quickly show you what they look like on. They're so, so soft, like a really, really soft, fluffy fabric. And that is what they look like. Super, super cute. Do also love that you can see my nails, honestly. I will be wearing these all the time now in winter. They're so warm and cozy and yeah, 
love them so that is another little either for you gift or for someone else gift next we have one of the stocking filler kind of items um i think this is the cheapest thing i have and these are called the hello fever paper clips so you get three in a set there is different versions i chose this one which has a bat a skull and a pumpkin but there is also i think there's moth ones and like witch hat ones and stuff as well i'll get them out so you can see them properly but these are just huge paper clips with like a big rubber character on the end so that is what the bat one looks like they all say kill star on them as well that is what the school one looks like and then that is what the pumpkin one looks like i think these are so so cute i've actually been using these because i got these last year as a gift from someone else um i've been using these as bookmarks which i think is really cute it does kind of crinkle the page a little bit because it's such a thick um paper clip but they are very very cute though so if you have someone who works in an office maybe who's more gothic these would be such a cute little stocking filler so next i have one of the weirder items for me and it's a bag um i am not a bag person at all i don't really carry one around but when i do i love them to be like weird and unusual and i have the grave digger handbag um i got it in the color pink which is not me at all but i really wanted it to stand out and i absolutely love it it's so cute so this is the grave digger handbag it comes with two straps it comes with this long like a crossbody one and it also comes with this little handheld one you can click them off on the sides i probably will just use the handheld one because it sits better like this um it does also come with this big metal pentacle on the side which i think is so so cute it zips around the top of the head and he's just so weird. Um, they have this in so many different colours. I very, very, very nearly got the bright orange one because it's a very pumpkin kind of colour and I love that one. But I felt like I just needed a cute little creepy pink one. They do black, white, silver, green, red. I think they even do a different pink one which isn't this like flocked feeling. It's like a shiny one. Um, there is some of these velvety ones. There's some shiny ones. There's some matte ones. Any colour you can think of, they probably have it in this bag. I will show you what the inside looks like. Um, it holds quite a lot, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to have such a big inside. I'll just move all the stuff in that I put back in there. So this is what the inside looks like. It's just got a little Killstar label in there. Where is my phone? So this is a 13 Pro Max, I think it's called, like the bigger one and i'll put it down at the bottom just so you can see or you can't even see it in there but like size wise so so much room in there everything that you need your purse and everything they could all fit in there i feel like this would just make an outfit like even if you was wearing something quite plain and boring this would just make it so so cute so that is the pastel pink grave digger handbag that i got absolutely love him so next i got one of their creatures which is kind of like their teddies and plushies um they come in a little bag like this which says creatures cute as hell across the front i do have a couple more of these i have like a grim reaper one and a bat one and i think another one as well um this one is called duplexity relic so this is what he looks like he is half like a faux leather and then half fluffy it kind of looks like two bears sewn into one so on this side we have this one with the little horn and the little half a pentagram up here swirly eye kind of a pumpkin mouth i would say and he looks like that and then on this side we have this skeleton print these cute little 3d ribs down here and he's so so soft and fluffy and um, he also has a cute little coffin tag which says i'm cute as hell where i also came from has his name and the number so this is 88140 i'm assuming maybe that's how many they've made i'm not really sure um but they do loads of different ones of these they have like limited edition ones as well where they only make like 666 of them 
um yeah so so cute like i said i've got a few of these and they've held up really really well just being sat there love him so that is duplexity relic the little creep chair then next i'll show you another homeware item and this one is called within darkness snow globe it comes in a big box this is one of the things that i said would make a cute christmas decoration honestly um it would be a lovely gift but it would also just be nice to put out at christmas time if you wanted to um and again this is one of the things on the website that i've never really looked at until i got it if that makes any sense i kind of didn't know that it existed and it's so so cute so it says kill start on the bottom and then this is what it looks like my light is ruining it right now but it is a baphomet snow globe so on the bottom we have this matte black kind of mountain looking base and then the globe has a black 3d baphomet in there kind of sat on a pedestal -y, like ball thing it looks like and it has black and silver glitters so when you shake it, he is just surrounded by glitter. It's so cute, so festive. I would love to get this as a gift. I'm actually tempted to give this to my dad as a Christmas gift. I'm not sure if he would love the fact it's a snow globe, but he loves Baphomet, so I, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if I also just wanna keep it for myself, but yeah, love this. This is one of the items that in the sale was crazy, crazy cheap. So not sure if that is still going on. Don't hold me to it but um yeah very very cute then next i will show you these now this is an accessory i personally would say this is a very unisex accessory anyone could wear this um and these are really really cool so these are called the we are wicked bootstraps and honestly i was not expecting these to be as good quality as they are either these are so so heavy not too heavy where it's like annoying that you couldn't wear them but heavy enough that you know that these are like good quality and they're not going to break so these are definitely for the more gothic person in your life um they are very very big spikes and this is what it looks like so i'll show you out like this first so it comes like this we have these huge spikes at the top then we have some studs and then we have a chain and basically whatever boot you're wearing you can buckle it around the base and then this kind of sits outwards so you can either put this chain bit under your heel if you want to like a cowboy boot kind of thing or you can put it up at the front you could even probably wear it that way around honestly maybe the chain might look a bit funny that way though but um, yeah, the buckle on this is amazing, huge. That is not going to break anytime soon. I would show you on my shoes right now, but I'm wearing like Tinkerbell slippers, which it's not going to give the vibe. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you because why not? Um, I do look like this at the top half, but I do also have pajama bottoms and slippers on. So I guess I'm breaking the illusion right now. And just for the pure fact of showing you what I'm trying to say, in fact, I'll take my shoe off. That would make more sense. This is what they do. So on any shoe that you're wearing, you just buckle it around like this. And then you have really cool shoes. So even if you have the cheapest, most boring boots in the whole world, you can put these on and instantly make them into some crazy goth boots that look like new rocks or something. If you go into like a festival or a gig or on a night out or whatever you want. So yeah, very, very cute. Absolutely love these. Like I said, way better quality than I was ever expecting. That buckle is staying on there. So yeah, that is the boot straps. Like I said, great for any gender, great for any size, which is amazing. They have loads of different options here um, and just really, really good quality. Great to make any boring shoes look amazing. You do get two of those, by the way, not just one. You get one for each foot. Um, I'm just showing you one of them, so... That is the bootstraps. And then I've got three things left. So we'll go to another one of the cheaper, more stocking filler kind of items next. And that is these cute little cookie cutters. 
Now again, there is also different versions of these as well. I think there's maybe three or four different ones of these. I got the ones which have a ghost, a haunted house and a moon. There's also Baphomet ones, witchy ones, and again, I think maybe moth ones. Um, it says that these are suitable for edible and non-edible materials. So you could use cookie dough, sugar paste, fondant, or craft clays, things like that. And I will try and get them out and show you more what they look like. So like I said, there is three different ones here. So this is the cute little ghosty one. It has a bit on the back that you can hold it. This is the haunted house one. And then this is the little moon one. So you could even make Christmas decorations with these. You could get clay and like stamp them out in that and make little moon decorations if you wanted to. Or if you just have a gothy baker in your life or even kids, I feel like kids would quite like these because kids like baking, right? Um, these would be a really cute little spooky stocking filler. So that was the spooktacular set of cookie cutters, these ones. Next we have another haunted homeware item and this one is called the Ossuary Candelabra. I am not good at that word. Um, looks like this and these are basically a very creepy little bone kind of designed candle holder, candelabra. This one again, one of the more expensive items, I'm not gonna lie but definitely a very well-made item. And this is what it looks like. And it has five little candle holes. And then down here, it's all very like bone looking. Um, apparently these can come in sort of different colors. I was quite lucky and got a more silvery toned one, but I have seen on the reviews there is also more gold toned ones as well that people have been getting. Um, but yeah, this is so pretty. It's really, really heavy. I'm not sure what this is made out of. It says it's made in India. Um, but yeah, this is amazing quality. So, so cute as a little like sideboard kind of thing with candles on it. I am going to put some in it and then melt them a little bit so it's kind of dripping on it and stuff. Absolutely love this. Very unusual item, I would say. Maybe good for like an older, more alternative person, this one. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty. And then the very last item I have to show you is the Killstar Tarot Cards. Now these are way prettier than I was expecting, I'm going to be honest. Um, this is what the box looks like. It says, death is only the beginning on one side and 78 card deck for magical guidance on the other side. Like this the only thing that i would say about these is i'm a little bit sad they don't come with like a little booklet inside me personally i don't know how to read cards so if i was getting this as a gift i would have liked a little book inside to tell me what the cards kind of meant um obviously people can google it if they want to and stuff or most people buying cards would probably know how to read them but that would have been a nice little added extra um, so they come like this and I will get them out of the little sleeve to show you properly. So this is what the back of them looks like. It's sort of a skull and crossbones mandala sort of um, pattern. So the same on all of them, obviously. And then this is what the fronts look like. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up very well on camera, but these are actually shiny, like holographic. I didn't know that before I bought them and that makes me love them so much more. They kind of shine a bit of a rainbowy silver. Hopefully that's picking that up a little tiny bit. Um, but these are so, so pretty. They all have a skull reference in them. So that is five of pentagrams, um, eight of cups, a lot of grim reapers throughout them justice six of wands um they do also have different versions of these i think they have the red version of these as well but yeah they are just so so pretty very like um again 
glam classic i would say they're not like cheesy and jokey they are like really nice and posh even though they have skulls on them which i love so yeah that is the killstar tarot cards oh i also forgot to say about these they do have like a silver sprayed edges as well so um they're not just like normal whites they do actually have a shiny edge to all of them so yeah, that was everything I had to show you in my Killstar Hexmas gift guide video. Hopefully this helped some of you out, even if it was just for a stocking filler or if it was for a big gift, that is amazing. I really hope it helped. Thank you so, so much to Killstar for sending these to me again. You are absolutely amazing. Literally one of my favorite companies in the whole world. And I have to say, I don't know if she's gonna watch this or not, but the rep that I speak to on there, she is so cute. She is like so sweet. Compared to some other companies, their customer service is like really, really nice. So um, hopefully, like I said, this helped some of you. I will put all of the information for them down below in case you wanna check them out, along with all of the links for all of these things. Um, you'll have to let me know if you're gonna get any of this stuff for anyone because i would love to hear and i hope you liked the video if you did please subscribe and i will see you soon bye guys